What I'm going to do in this video is just run through how to color grade your videos in Lightroom. It's a really easy process and once you do it once, uh, you can actually duplicate those presets and kind of build off of them as you go. So I'm going to attach some free ones in the description below that you can download and let's just jump right into Lightroom here and show you how to do it. So what you want to do first here is actually import your photos. So mine are right here. This is all from the shoot. And I'm going to drag them all in right here and do import. So from here, once they're all imported in, I'm going to go into develop right here. And you'll notice I was shooting in AEB bracketing, which basically takes three pictures from one image. So when I press the picture button, it'll take three. So the first one is gonna be the normal exposure, the second one is gonna be darker, and the third is gonna be brighter. So it's gonna combine all three of them into one image that you're gonna have a lot more uh, to play with. So what I'm gonna do with these three images is select all of them like this, and I'm gonna go to Photo Merge HDR. If you don't shoot in AEB bracketing mode, no worries, just edit the one raw picture you have, but AEB bracketing gives you the ability to combine all three of the same image and edit it a bit further. So once it's done creating the HDR up here, you'll see right there, boom, you can go in and this is the final image right from those three that it just made. And I have all of these presets already um, right here. I'm gonna attach some free ones for you guys to use. In the description below, you can download um, just some great starting drone ones for you to begin with. So I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna attach this one in there so you guys can literally follow this step by step. That already gives some awesome colors and the exposure brightens your image, contrast just kind of makes it a little more, it brings the clarity out of the shadows and the highlights. Um, I would never really recommend bringing the clarity too high. I usually just keep it around zero, honestly. The highlights, as you can see right here on the whites, that's gonna brighten or darken that on the waves there. The shadows, brightens or darkens the shadows, pretty simple. The whites will kind of brighten all of the lighter areas and the blacks can give like a cool faded effect and bring it up or it'll darken when you bring it down. So what I wanna do first here with this preset is kind of just play with the tone curve here. So this is just on the grays, right? The blacks and the whites here. So I'm gonna bring it up a bit just so we can kind of see the image a little bit more, a little brighter there. And maybe we'll bring this down to about there. For reference, an S curve is usually the best. So it would be around here to there, right? But since we adjusted these up here, the highlights and shadows, we don't really need to mess with that too much. So what I'm gonna do actually here is go down to the bottom to calibration. This was what I like to mess with first. So I'll go here and really play with these colors. I love getting these reds out like this, especially on this specific image with the rocks. It gives that really cool um, contrast, the color contrast here. So I'm really gonna bump this up high. Do the same with the blues. Let's see what we can do here. We'll pop that up right there. Perfect. So just with those few adjustments, look what we've already done with this image. We've brought the colors out a bit more to really pop. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna bring the luminance of the blues up a bit. And it's actually gonna be the greens. This water is a lot greener than I thought. So I'm just gonna play with the luminance here, the saturation to bring back the blues. Let's see the greens too. As you can see when I do that, you can really see the kelp down there start popping up just like that awesome just playing this so i'm just really playing with what looks best with my eye the saturation of these colors and then the same with the hue so let's just play with this just run with them right and left see what looks best there's not much rhyme or rhythm with this it's just kind of your your discretion of what you think is best and once you like this final image so this is the final image that we like here. So before, after, before, after. You can go right here to presets, create preset, and I'll call this Laguna Mavic 2 Pro 01. Just like that. And that's gonna save everything that we just made. 
So now if we go to our next image, let's find another one we like here. Let's see, this will be a good one. One, two, it's these three right here. I'm gonna do the same thing, photo merge HDR. We're gonna merge it just like that. Boom, and this is our image right here. And then I'm just gonna go find it. So what I titled it, Laguna Mavic 2 Pro. Boom, look at that, just like that. Literally it didn't touch anything because once you do it once, you don't really need to do it again. So we can just bring that down, kind of adjust these however we want. The key to once you are using a preset is you don't necessarily want to adjust the colors because that's what makes the preset the preset. Um, what's really gonna make it change and stand out from one image to the next when you shoot in one location is adjusting the shadows, the whites, the highlights. Um, it could be the texture, the clarity, the dehaze, things like that. But if you're playing with a preset and changing the actual colors of it, that's gonna mess up um, the flow from, if you're, if you're putting together a set of images from one shoot, you wanna be using the same preset and just adjusting you know, the actual shadows and highlights, not necessarily the colors from one image to the next. So it actually makes that a lot easier because you don't need to be adjusting too much. So another way you can do it if you make those adjustments is control, go to settings, copy settings, boom. And then let's do this on one more image. How is this one? So we're just, we've been some top down ones. Let's see if we get a different angle here. Hmm. This might be a good one right here. Same thing, photo merge. The shortcut is control H and there it is. And command V and we're just pasting those settings. Awesome. So you can see this one's a bit darker, has a bit more of a moody feel, which is pretty cool. But I might wanna, you know, bring up the exposure a bit. Not too much, just a little bit. So we can kind of get a, you can actually just see the image in general and then we can lower the highlights there. So that's really how simple it is to use Lightroom. So you're gonna go through, start with a preset. There's a lot online that are probably better than the ones that I have, but I'm gonna attach this specific drone one that I use on a lot of my drone photos in the description below for you to download. So you can start with that or you can start with under other ones. And then from there, go in, adjust the colors. So the saturation, luminance, go in and adjust the tones with the curves. And then from there, adjust the actual lighting. So the shadows, the whites, the highlights, and keep it simple, rule of thumb, always keep it simple. And then once you do that, you can save those adjustments you made as a preset. So then you can copy and paste that onto your next photos from that same shoot and just rinse and repeat at every location you go to. We'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about unlocking your drone's full potential and becoming a confident drone pilot, then be sure to check out our course, 14 Day Drone Pilot Pro. It's a speed learning program for beginners, teaching aerial photography and video editing, and our students are absolutely loving it. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure to click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.